Hi everyone, welcome to the best of CAT series by IMS. Let's look at the next question from Geometry. Now, what I would suggest here is that you pause this video, attempt this question on your own, and then watch the solution. So we've got a question from mensuration here, which says our solid right circular cone of height 27 centimeters is cut into two pieces along a plane parallel to the base at a height of 18 centimeter from the base. If the difference in volume of the two pieces is 225 cc, what is the volume in cc of the original cone? Let's draw the diagram first to understand the question. a solid right circular cone and we are cutting a piece parallel to the base. The height of the larger cone is given as 27 centimeter and it is also given to us that we are making a cut at a height of 18 centimeter from the base. Which means I can say that this height of the smaller cone here, this is nothing but 27 minus 18 which is 9 centimeter. Let's label this diagram a little bit so we can say this is A, B, and C, P, Q, and let's call these two points X and Y. Okay, now let's look at the two triangles APX and ABY. Okay, both the two triangles, both of the both the triangles have got a 90 degree angle. So both the triangles have got a 90 degree angle. One angle is equal to 90 degree in both of them. Okay. Uh, also, we can see that this angle at the top vertex, the angle at point A is common to both the triangles. Angle at vertex A is common to both the triangles. Okay. Which means both the triangles have got two angles equal. Making use of the angle-angle property, I can say triangle APX is similar to triangle APY. We are making use of the angle-angle property. We can see that they've got two angles equal. Now, once we know the triangles have two angles equal and they're similar to each other, we know that the ratio of their sides will be a constant. So if I say the radius of this smaller cone is, let's say, small r, and the radius of the larger cone is capital R, we know that the ratio of their radius will be same as the ratio of their heights, which is known to us, which is one by two. Okay, so from here, I can say that R is equal to three times of small r. Uh, now we can approach this question from here on uh, in two different methods, by two different ways. So one is that we use the formula for volume of a cone. Okay, so I can say volume of the small cone, how much? 1 by 3 pi small r square and height of the small cone, which is 9. So that is 3 pi r square. What about the volume of the larger cone? Volume of the larger cone is how much? 1 upon 3 times pi. Uh, into capital R square, but please remember that capital R is equal to 3R. We've got that result over here. So we can use that. So 3 times the small R whole square and height of the larger cone is 27. 81 pi R square. Which means what will be the volume of the other piece? The other piece is nothing but PQCB. Once you cut this smaller cone, uh, the remaining portion that I have over here, which is this, is the other piece. So what would be the volume of the other piece? Volume of the remaining piece will be 81 pi r square minus 3 pi r square, which is 78 pi r square. So I've got two pieces. One is a small cone uh, whose volume is 3 pi r square. And the second is what we call a frustum and its volume is 78 pi r square. What is the difference in the volume of two pieces? Difference in volume of two pieces. So 
So that is 78 pi r square minus 3 pi r square and that is given to us. That is 225 cc. Which means from here I can say 75 pi r square is 225 or how much is pi r square? It is 225 by 75 that is 3. What do we want to find? We want to find the volume of the original cone or the larger cone and that we already have over here. That is 81 pi r square. If I put pi r square as 3, I get this answer as 81 into 3, 243 cc. That is my answer. That is my answer. So option 3 is my answer. Okay. Now, once we got this ratio of radius as 1 by 3 or the ratio of sides of the two similar triangles as 1 by 3, we could have approached this question uh, in a different way also. Let's look at the second method of solving this question now. Now, once we got this ratio of sides of similar triangles, instead of using the formula for volume, we could have used another concept. If two geometrical objects are similar, if two geometrical objects of similar shape, same shape are similar, two geometrical objects are similar, if the ratio of the sides is k is to 1, then the ratio of their areas is k square is to 1 and the ratio of their volumes is k cube is to 1. Uh, if we knew this concept, we could have used this concept and got the answer faster. We already know over here that the ratio of the smaller cone, uh, the sides of the two triangles is 1 is to 3. Okay. So based on that, we can say what will be the ratio of volumes of the two of the two pieces or of the smaller cone and the larger cone. So three cube is 27. So that ratio of volume of the smaller cone and the larger cone will be 27 is to one. So I'm saying if the volume of large cone, we are saying if volume of the larger cone or the original cone is let's say 27b then volume of the smaller cone at the top volume of the smaller cone at the top is simply 1b which is b okay which means the volume of the the second piece which is the frustum which is the remaining shaded piece that we've got here pqc cb so volume of the frustum is how much that is nothing but 27b minus b that is 26b so this is my one piece this is my second piece. What is the difference in volume of the two pieces? What is the difference in volume of the two pieces? So that is simply 26B minus B, which is 25B. And this is given to us as 225. So from here I can say B is equal to 225 upon 25, which is 9. Once we know the value of B, what is required, volume of the original cone is required that we already have over here. So I just put a V as 9, 27 into 9 and that is 243. That's the required answer. So this is our required answer. So once we got the ratio of uh, uh, sides of a similar objects, we could have also just extended that to volume ratio will be cube of the sides ratio and got the answer directly without calculating the volume of the smaller cone and the larger cone. Now, I hope you understood uh, the question and the two different approaches for solving this question. I've got a replica question for you. Please attempt this question and leave your answers in the comment section.